who doesn't love kicking back in a good old Muskoka chair or Adirondack chair? Today I'm going to show you this cool modification that you can do that'll give your chair a little extra back support. I'm going to be building a brand new chair, so I'm going to give all my pieces a quick sand down before I get started, and then I'll assemble it. This is how this one came from factory. It's still a bit rough for my liking, so I have some 80 grit and some 100 grit sandpaper. I'm going to get it nice and smooth before putting it together. So essentially what I'm going to be doing here is fastening these curved strips to the existing back supports. We're going to use 2 inch lumber for this. I'm going to get some cardboard and find a 10 inch radius or a 20 inch diameter. Then find an 8 inch cord and that's going to give me my template to cut these pieces. My template's finished and I'm ready to start cutting my 2x4s. This is a piece of spruce stud. It has rounded edges on it. Where this is a piece of knotty pine, it has sharp edges. And I wanted to mention this because your curved strips are going to fasten to your back supports, but if they have curved edges, they're not going to sit perfectly flush. So if you're using spruce studs, you might want to plane or sand down those rounded edges to make them nice and sharp. I'm going to grab a jigsaw, put my template down on my wood, and start cutting these pieces out. So for the finish of the chair and the slats, I'm going to use this product from Sanson. It's environmentally friendly, it's highly durable, and it dries really quickly. First I'm going to use their SDF, siding, decks, and fences. That's going to give the chair a nice tint and some UV protection. And then I'll go ahead and add the top coat. All right, quick tip here. If you're having trouble getting stain in between the slats in your Muskoka chair, don't be afraid to grab your toothbrush and really get in there. So once I'm done coating my curved pieces, I'm gonna test fit them in the chair with tape. Once I find the sweet spot, I'm gonna pre-drill from the back and install them with a couple screws. Wow. All right, so I'm just testing this out for the first time. And it's actually really, really nice. <laughs> it definitely gives you way more lumbar support. Yeah. It's, it's actually really cool. It, look, it looks really good. All right, I am super happy with this Muskoka chair mod, lumbar support. It turned out amazing. It is so comfortable. And really, 
There's only one thing left to do now.